Hi, I'm Rich Torrey. Welcome to another Level Up Cartooning. All you ever need to follow along with me is a pencil and paper. It doesn't get any easier than that, right? Well, with Easter right around the corner, I thought this might be an appropriate time to try drawing a character I've always loved, but have never attempted to draw, Peter Rabbit, the star of Beatrix Potter's 1902, The Tale of Peter Rabbit, along with five other books starring Peter, which to date have sold over 150 million copies and have spawned numerous movies, TV specials, toys, as a matter of fact, in 1903, Peter Rabbit was the first fictional character to be made into a patented stuffed toy, making him the oldest licensed character. That's pretty cool. Anyway, we're only going to draw one view of Peter today, a front view. We'll start, as we always do, by mapping out a road map of Peter's proportions and pose. Then it's on to the second step, the roughing out of the features. I want you to pay close attention to how I begin to rough out Peter's form, particularly around the face and the bottom of his body, where, as you will see, the line is not continuous. Continuous. And in fact, there are many gaps in Peter's fur. It gives it a fluffy or soft kind of feel. This is a technique that takes practice and patience. You won't necessarily get it the first time or even the fifth time. It will come with experience. You will learn in the end it's as important what you don't draw as what you do draw. I know that doesn't make sense now, but it will. Then in that third and final step, I'm going to draw on that final line using traditional pen and ink, which is what Potter used in illustrating her amazing stories. It's another skill that takes a lot of practice and patience, but I think the varied lines you can render with a dip pen are superior to what you can do with any felt tip marker or a digital pad, and I encourage anyone to give it a try. You will get frustrated in the beginning and inky and messy, but I promise you, you won't be sorry once you've mastered it. In fact, I think I need to make a note to use this more in future videos. Anyways, before we get started, make sure you hit the thumbs up and the subscribe button as it helps this channel to grow and hit the bell so you never miss a lesson. All right, so let's draw the incomparable Peter Rabbit. <laughs> We're going to draw Peter Rabbit step by step, giving you the secret formula to be able to draw him again and again. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know I normally use the character's head to figure out how big the entire character is. In this drawing, Peter is a little over three heads tall, not including his ears. In other words, however tall his head is, again, not including his ears, his entire body is a little over three of those tall. Incidentally, his ears are just under one head height tall. All right, so let's lay out the roadmap for Peter Rabbit. So there's our roadmap for Peter Rabbit. Now we're on to step two. In this step, we do what I call roughing out the features. I want to remind you that until the third and final step, you want to draw as light as possible. You'll see that I use guidelines to help me to know where to put Peter's eyes, muzzle, and some of the other things. We don't want those guidelines in the final drawing, so you want to draw them light enough to be able to erase them easily. Also remember what I said in the beginning, that this is the stage where we begin to rough out the look of Peter's fur, especially around his face and the bottom of his body, but overall as well. Okay, so let's rough out Peter Rabbit's features.
Okay, so there are the roughed out features of Peter Rabbit. So now with the roadmap done and the features roughed out, it's time for that final step. In step three, we get to have fun. We get to draw in the final details of Peter. We don't have to guess where to put things because we've already done all the hard work figuring that out. You want to pay close attention when drawing in the final lines of the fur to keep that soft or fluffy feel by not connecting each line. One of the secrets is to not press too hard if you're using a pencil. That actually goes for using a dip pen as well. With enough ink on that pen, a light touch is important when drawing in that fur. Whether you use a pencil, pen, or digital, it's important to be present. What I mean by that is you don't want to just mindlessly retrace over the lines you've already drawn. You want to think about that line as you're drawing it. Always draw with an eye on tweaking and improving until the very end. Okay, so let's draw in the details for Peter Rabbit. And that's how you do it. There you have it, Beatrix Potter's classic character, Peter Rabbit. So how do you think you did? Understand if you've never drawn Peter before, then you cannot expect to have drawn him perfectly. And as we talked about, that fur can be very tricky. You'll notice I didn't spend time coloring Peter Rabbit during this video because I want my lesson to focus solely on the drawing process. But now you have the secret formula, the process for drawing Peter Rabbit. And with that, you can draw him again and again. And by all means, color him when you're done. Beatrix Potter illustrated her books using traditional watercolors. I did my version using Photoshop for expedience. I promise each time you draw Peter, it will be a little better and a little easier. I also promise the more you work with me, the better you're going to get at all of your cartoon characters. So I'd love to see your drawing of Peter Rabbit. If you can, take a picture and post it on either Facebook or Instagram, and don't forget to include the hashtag Level Up Cartooning. I hope you had as much fun as I did with this one. Remember to subscribe, and thanks for joining me. Until next time, keep drawing, my friends.